After reviewing body cam footage, three police officers have been cleared in the shooting death of a Bentonville man. That man accused of charging at Bentonville officers with a knife after barricading himself, his wife, and kids inside a home. We do want to warn you, this video may be hard to watch. 5 News reporter Juliana Clipson joining us live with details on all this. Juliana. Darren, that body camera footage details the entire incident. Officers first responded early Sunday morning for a domestic dispute. When they arrived, they say they found Brian Williams reading a Bible just before he grabbed a kitchen knife and ran out the front door towards them. According to the Benton County prosecutor Nathan Smith, who reviewed the body cam footage, 10 rounds were fired from the service weapons of Bentonville Sergeant Brent Fair, Officer Kyle Putnam, and Officer Tyler Sharp. 39 year old Brian Williams is the man holding the knife in the video. He was shot and killed by officers. That shooting was justified under Arkansas law. Smith says body cam footage was crucial in this investigation. Video shows officers arriving to the Bentonville home on Northwest 6th Street early Sunday morning. They say they found Williams a wounded father on the front porch. The 39 year old had barricaded himself inside the home with knives, his wife and two small children. So he's got a couch right here. And a knife right there too. The video shows officers knocking on doors and windows for 12 minutes. He's reading the Bible and he has a bunch of knives out. He just dug behind the counter with a knife. After contact with Williams family, officers entered the door code, pushed it open, and in seconds, Williams was out the front door with a large knife. Drop the knife! Knife, 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 knife! The body camera clearly shows that uh, he was holding a knife and officers, uh, had they not uh, responded, uh, certainly would have been stabbed. Immediately after firing the shots, officers began life-saving measures on Williams, but he later died at a local hospital. The prosecutor calls this incident a terrible tragedy. I've spoken with the family of Mr. Williams, and they were very keen uh, for it to be known that this behavior was, was certainly out of character for Mr. Williams, that they believe his mental state had degraded in the hours leading up uh, to this happening and uh, w wanted it to be known that they believed he was a good man and a good father and this was just a, a tragic thing that occurred. Smith tells us in the weeks leading up to this incident, the family told him that they noticed his health declining, his mental health and his mental state. So they removed all the guns from the family's home. We're live in Bentonville covering news where you live. Juliana Clipson, 5 News. All right, Juliana, thanks. The prosecutor says he is waiting on a toxicology report from the state crime lab, but the body cam footage was crucial in determining the use of force by officers as lawful. It is standard protocol, by the way, for an investigation to be done at any time an officer discharges their service weapon.